We are going on a backpack trip, and it sure hasn't started out like we planned. There's the Airstream parked along the street here, and we are hiking down the road to catch a ferry over to Cumberland Island. We had planned two nights, and we're still getting two nights, but it's happening a little bit different than we thought. I'm tired. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, kitty? We made it to okay. Cumberland Island. So How's your hair? Still looking okay. This is when we look at ourselves and realize like, wow, we should not be really filming ourselves. We uh, made it to Cumberland Island and uh, off the ferry. And we just dropped our day packs or, or dropped our packs and we're going up to, um, sorry, I'm watching where I'm stepping because there's horse poop everywhere. We, um, we are gonna head down to go see some ruins before we head up to our campsite for the night. Um, and uh, we're excited to be here. The weather's gonna be fantastic. A little bit of rain tonight, and then it's going to be great the entire rest of the time. So we're pretty excited. Is he eating the Spanish moss? I went to go see the Dungeness Ruins and that was pretty fantastic. I uh, loved it, just really cool. History is really neat to see, got a cool time lapse, uh, and really fun. And right now, we're all sitting in rockers on the front of the, the, uh, the front of the, the park here, and we are gonna make lunch. bit of a wet night last night with uh, lots of rain and thunder which is very exciting and we have a very wet campsite you can see we have a dry spot where our tent was didn't get any video of us packing up and cleaning up but it was very wet and we'll have some stuff to lay out uh, and uh, dry up when we're get to our next spot but this has been a great spot here it's a uh, wonderful the the terrain with the palmettos uh, in the in the background we've got Spanish moss hanging from the trees and that's really pretty fantastic so it's been a nice uh, space here we've had oatmeal for breakfast and we have some cider in a uh, in a vacuum flask that we can um, have while we're hiking along and uh, we're excited to get going and uh, 
down on our adventure. We're hiking today just uh, like two miles to the next camp and then we're gonna do a day trip over to Plum Orchard where, uh, where we're gonna explore the, the, the still intact mansion there. So we're excited. So we've reached our Hickory Hill campsite and everything's a little bit wet and so we have, it looks like we're having a yard sale around here but we are uh, hanging stuff up to dry so that uh, while we're off uh, walking over to Plum Orchard, Plum Orchard right? Yep. While we're walking to Plum Orchard it can all dry out so we've got our stuff piled, we've got a, uh, the stuff that we're not taking with and uh, we've got our day packs and our lunch ready to go and we're going to go wander that direction. packed up and ready to go here at Hickory Hill. It's been a great stay here. It's been pretty wonderful. Beautiful Spanish moss. We're going to miss this after we leave the area. And uh, wonderful morning. Just pre uh, nine o'clock and we're ready to go. There's a hill right there. This campsite is called Hickory Hill because of what I suspect is this hill that we're now going up. It, the funny part is, is that it's like, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 vertical feet above where the rest of the trail is. This is Georgia technically, but almost Florida, and Florida just doesn't have any hills, so it, uh, it's pretty darn funny. The whole island is pretty darn flat. Like, they don't even bother providing an elevation profile for the height because the whole thing would just be flat anyway, right? Except maybe a tiny little one pixel bump right here at the at Hickory Hill. Also, they can call it Hickory Hill and everyone knows what they mean because there's only like one on the entire island. So here we are, and we're at the top of it already, see? That's an impressive hill right there. I'm breathing a little bit harder. Snack time. We're having clip bars. Pretty beautiful spot to have a snack though. Huh? And he had another perch. Andrew, Andrew found himself a perch like he usually does. Andrew's special talent is finding a perch. There is a horse just ambling down the beach. A feral horse here on the island. back off the ferry and uh, we totaled the mileage and it looks like we did um, about 13 miles of backpacking with an additional eight miles of 
day hiking, so not packing the packs, but going to visit things. That makes it a, uh, like 21 miles for three days. And again, our kids are 10, eight, and five. So I'm pretty proud of them, they did awesome. And uh, we are now headed back to the Airstream after um, getting back to the mainland on the ferry. And I'm pretty sure there's some pizza in our future.